Hi guys, so um, I wanted to share this Zentangling art form with you. We're doing it this week with um, the majority of the kids in the school. And Zentangling, it's a self-help art therapy that helps you refocus your mind. And just, it's kind of like an art meditation. Um, it's really awesome. And the kids in here, like, when they get going and get working on it, it's like they're silent and they're like focused. And it's just really awesome to see. Um, so, and they're really happy after they get done with it, which is really cool. So, um this is gonna be really short you don't have to participate if you don't want to just want to share in case you did um a few tips is that zentangling the form of zentangling says that you need to use a pen that way you can turn your mistakes into something beautiful um so don't start out with a pencil and the smaller the paper um the easier it is because it doesn't take as long so two things just want to share and we're using all kinds of really colorful pens um in the classroom with all the kiddos so you don't have to just use black all right so the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna draw three circles okay and you don't have to do what I'm doing. Um, this is just directed drawing type thing if you need help with drawing something, okay? Um, and this one's gonna be three different flowers. So um, I like to have my flowers come off the page. It's just a little more interesting. And it doesn't need to be perfect. And if I'm going too quickly, you can always pause it. Okay. All right. So I love making mistakes and turning them into something different. I think it always looks really cool um, when you do that. So, okay, there I have my three flowers with lots of mistakes. It's awesome. Um, so now what you're going to do is you're going to fill up the space with lots of different line designs. So um, here's an example of a different type of line design drawing. Um, so you can fill up this stuff with all kinds of different things. Um, I like to sometimes make circles around my subject area to make it stand out some, or my focal point, subject, focal point, um, just to make them stand out from the background a little bit. But the point of the entangling is to make sure that you add contrast or um, a balance between light and dark. And if you take a zentangling class, they talk about how um, whenever you're drawing, you're supposed to think about things that matter more and things that don't matter as much. and um, so it's really cool. And all your little different line designs can have a different meaning um, and a different meaning for things that are going on in life. It's really, really cool. So um, that's just something to think about while you're doing this. But I have included some really cool line design examples within the email that I sent. So um, if you want to look there, if you're running out of line design ideas, that would be a great place to look. Um, but here, I'm gonna show you an example really quickly. So I have my little line design thing that I've done here, and now I'm gonna add in some contrast. So I can just go in with my pen and add in different contrasty things, kind of like you're doing a coloring sheet. Or you can even draw this with all the line designs and then color it afterwards if you would wanna do that. Um, color it with your color pen that you're using or color pencils or crayons or whatever. Um, so, and it makes it look really cool. It's less busy if you add in all that contrast. So this is just something that I thought would, um, be nice and maybe helpful with, um, this stressful time. Sometimes the end of the year can be a little stressful. So, um, I thought this might help you guys focus and just re-energize your brain. So, um, hope this goes well, and if you all need anything, I obviously have plenty of colored pens and paper, so come by and get it, okay? Happy making!